Hey everybody. So I have a mess here, as you can tell. You can probably tell what I'm doing, right? I'm kidding up. I hope it's not going to be too noisy because, you know, I got all these little bags. I got to cut and pour and all that stuff. And I just hope that I'm closer to the, the camera than what I'm doing. So you hear me, not all the little bags and all the little noise I'm making. Anyhow, I am kidding up this painting that I don't really want to kit up. I'm really not into it, but I have to. It is for my grandson's birthday, which is in October. And um, I told his mom I would do it. And yeah, it's the end of September. There's so many other things I would rather be working on than this. Um, anyhow, just get it done, get it over with, hurry up, you know, whatever. Yeah. I have some great, fantastic things I want to work on, some stuff that's come in. Um, some stuff that's coming in I'm so excited about but yeah this is not the one I want to work on um, let me show you what it is I can show you what it is it's really pretty I think it's going to turn out really nice if you can see it it's all dinosaurs yeah it's a whole dinosaur painting but it's got some beautiful colors some greens some pinks some purples and I think it will be beautiful I'm just not in the mood to do it Do you ever have that time in your life where it's just like nothing goes right? Absolutely nothing goes right. See, like right now, I am recording this video over, re-recording it, and you hear my husband's work phone in the bedroom ringing. We're going to ignore that. At least it's not going to be as obnoxious as what happened in the last clip. My phone was ringing, and it was making obnoxious noises and sounds in my video. So I stopped, deleted it, and decided to start over. Just deleted the whole thing, started over. Then I go to start over and I realize, oh, guess what? My battery on my phone is almost dead and it won't even record anything. So I had to put my phone on the charger for a little bit. We'll see how long I can actually record this video before it goes dead. You'll notice I have a lot less drills on the table than I do in that first clip you saw. It's just been crazy. Anyhow, there's that. So now, let me tell you, or try to remember the things I talked about in the first video. So, today was Wednesday. Um, every month on Wednesday, we do this thing at school where we mix up all the kids into different ages. I get kids from each class. I had 27 today. Um, and we do different activities art activities, um, outdoor activities, nature hikes, things like that. Environmental activities. Today was that day. Normally it's very stressful because I get these kids I don't know. I have no relationship with them. I don't know how to deal with them. I, it's normally quite stressful. And they're doing unstructured kind of activities. And yeah, it's normally a nightmare. Today went pretty good though. I will say. My group today was pretty good, and they're my group that I will have all year, so hopefully, fingers crossed, things won't be quite so stressful this year as they have been in the past years. So, we had the zoo come, and that was cool. She brought some animals that were pretty neat, and I got my phone out, and I thought I would record some video clips. When I went to look at them, I realized they didn't work. See, it's been a day. It's just been one of those days. They didn't work. I had great sound, no picture. So you don't get to see the blue tongue skink. That was one of them. Um, and this snake, this snake, I was like, it's a some sort of a boa, and she calls it a rainbow boa, I believe. And she said, it's really cool in certain light. It has iridescent scales. And I was like, oh, cool. Diamond painting people would understand that the iridescent you know a b it's got a b scales not drills a b scales but sorry no video it didn't turn out i don't know what happened there either it's crazy crazy day my husband's out mowing the lawn and so i thought i could get this you know what's up wednesday going here while he's mowing i have soup some chicken noodle soup started on the stove 
and um, thought I'd have a few minutes to chit chat. So that's what I'm trying to do. If it would just work, I'd be thrilled. Anyhow, um, yesterday was supposed to be another chemo day for my mom. She didn't get to go last week because of her blood counts not being where they should be. She called me up yesterday, said, what are you doing? I said, a couple things before I come get you. Well, don't rush. No chemo again. I'm like, oh, dang, really? She was so close. She was only off like two points of being able to go have her chemo, but they were like, no, not today. So seeing as how I already had the day off every Tuesday, it's my mom day, I just went over to her house and said, what, what do you want me to do? Well, whatever you want, we'll do it. Well, the one thing that she decided was that her hair is falling out like crazy. And it must, it just must be time to just get rid of it. So I said, well, you have a razor? I said, I can, you know, I can, you know, shave it off for you. I do, you know, my husband's hair. I can, I can handle that. And she said, okay, well, let's just do it. So I went out on her patio and I took the razor and I shaved her hair off. I didn't make her bald, like down to the skin. I just super, super, super short, like, you know, butch haircut kind of thing. Like she's ready for the military, you know. I'm sure the rest of it, the little short hairs will fall out eventually, but she was really pretty good about it. She was like, yeah, let's just do it. You know, it's just hair. It'll come back eventually. Let's, you know, let's just do it. She's been hunting through her baseball caps and uh, figuring out which ones she could wear. They took a trip to Kentucky last week since she didn't have chemo and she had the week off, basically, and they went to Kentucky to see relatives that she hasn't seen in many years and, you know, doesn't really know when she'll be able to see them again. You know, everybody's getting older and, you know, that kind of stuff. So she had a good time there. She finally found herself a Kentucky hat down there. So she's got a Kentucky baseball cap. So she's ready to sport the baseball cap and, you know, no hair. So then they decided they were hungry. I knew I would be coming home to have dinner with my husband, but we went inside to make a sandwich. They wanted a sandwich. Okay. That took an hour to make a sandwich because we ended up cleaning out the entire refrigerator. Yep, cleaned out the refrigerator. Old food, rearranged, all that stuff. And then they got their sandwich. <laughs> so, I mean, that's the kind of stuff I did. And then the other thing, she's had these succulents, little plants, that she's wanted to make a fairy garden out of because, you know, I make fairy gardens and she wanted me to help her. That's what we did yesterday. We made a fairy garden. She's got a stone bird bath, and we planted. She was sitting there helping and directing, and I was actually doing the planting. So, you know, it's super cute. It turned out really, really nice. She's thrilled. It's right on her patio where she can go see it, so she's happy with that, you know. And, you know, I said, it's not really, like, cleaning your house or anything like that. And she said, no, that's fine. She says this, you know. Made her smile. Made her happy. That's all that matters. I made her happy. So, anyhow, that was my day yesterday. All spent with Mom. Um, and it will be every Tuesday until, you know, this is taken care of. And, you know, she's back to not having cancer. Anyhow. Um, so, besides that, you know... I have a lot of things that have come in. I've done some more videos. I've bought some more stuff. And I keep saying I have to stop doing that. I've just got to stop buying stuff. I've bought so much stuff. I can never, ever do all the paintings that I currently have. I don't know. <laughs> I'm definitely going to do that stash giveaway. I'm, when I get a minute and I can actually get into my stash and sort out the things that I can, you know, giveaway. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do a stash giveaway. So I'm sitting at about 1,220 or 30 subscribers right now. And I'm thinking 13 is pretty close. 14 is quite a ways away. I don't know. Maybe we'll shoot for the middle somewhere. Maybe we'll go for 1,350 subscribers and then I'll give some stuff away. Somebody made a comment, had the greatest idea. They were like, well, you could make it like mystery diamond giveaway, you know, mystery paintings. See if you can figure out what people would like and see who, you know, you'd send it to. And I was like, that's kind of a cool idea, you know, if I could figure out how to do that, that would be cool. 
Nobody seemed to have a problem getting a painting of mine as long as everything's there. It, even though it's open, I've opened it, shown it on my channel, looked at it. You know, they don't have a problem with that. They're like, it'd be cool. It's a painting. We know everything's there. You've inventoried it. So, yeah. So I'm going to see about that. So keep that in mind. I'm looking at maybe thirteen fifty and look for something to come out about that. When they suggested Mystery Diamond Painting, that's funny. I signed up for the Mystery Diamond Painting on that Mystery Diamond Painting Facebook page. And I did two groups. What was I thinking? I don't know. So I did the um, Leoji one, which is, you know, the full rhinestone company. That's what they do. You can get them in all rhinestones or pebble drills, as they call them. I signed up for that group. And then they had another group just called Special Drills. I love Special Drills. So I signed up for that one, and I thought that would be easy. Those are smaller. They're, you know, yeah. So they're kind of all Special Drills because one's rhinestones and one's going to be rhinestones huh. and Special Drills. Anyhow, it'll be fun. I got two partners, and we're... You know, talking, and I've already ordered for them, so this will be fun. I've never done a mystery before, so it'll be fun. Um, then, you know, I, I said, I've got to stop. i got to stop buying. I, you know, i got to be done. I wasn't buying anything last weekend from Diamond Art Club. I wasn't. I said no. And I said no. I don't know what happened, but I kept saying no, but something happened. You'll see that soon. Oh, man. If you know me, you probably already know. <laughs> you probably already know. <laughs> and then I'm, I'm back to the, nope, nothing this weekend. Not buying, not buying, not buying. Today at work, I glanced at my phone on Instagram. And what's Diamond Art Club put out there? What? A Hannah Lynn painting. I passed on the Hannah Lynn's last weekend. I, I, I wasn't in love with either of those. I could pass on them. But this one that's coming out this weekend, let me tell you what. Oh, my goodness. That girl has a dragonfly on her. Dragonfly is my thing. I have like two or three dragonfly paintings that I haven't done yet, but I want to. I love dragonflies. I love what they represent. I love that I see dragonflies at my pond all the time. I kind of think the dragonfly is like my spirit animal, if there is such a thing. I don't know what that means. But I love dragonflies. And here this Hannah Lynn comes out this weekend with this dragonfly on her face. Are you kidding me? I can't buy anymore. So I was talking with somebody about a little project we're going to work on. And about how, you know, people want stuff. They want, they want people to give them stuff. They want, you know, hey, help me out. I'm starting a channel. Can I get free stuff? And I'm like, no. I, I grew this channel on my own back, totally, out of my own pocketbook. I have spent so much money on diamond paintings to show you guys stuff, and that's what has helped my channel to grow. You love to see what I come up with. I hunt around. I'm hunting everywhere, all different companies, different types, from eBay to Diamond Art Club to, you know, Amazon. And that's how I've grown my channel. Now I need to slow down. I'm going to need to start doing some just like whipping chats and here, let's look at what I'm doing. Let's get some stuff done. You know, unboxings, got to slow down. But, you know, I that's how I've grown my channel. And you guys have helped. You watch my stuff and you guys are like, okay, I love that. I got to go get that now. Well, you know, I'm sorry, but not sorry, but you know what I mean? It's just, it's how things work. I didn't get free canvases from people. I mean, I didn't ask for free canvases from people. Victoria's Moon contacted me. And then I think the only other person I've gotten a free canvas from is Fundiful. You know, and that's on Amazon. But anyhow, um, I love this. I, if I could just keep buying and unboxing and showing, I, I'd do it forever. But I know that I can't. Realistically, I can't. So I'm going to have to come up with some more whip and chats and just work and other things. I do have a completed painting video coming up. 
You can see some things that I have completed. I'm surprised how many there are. That was all this summer. I think you guys will be surprised to see how many there are too. <laughs> but there's a lot. Anyhow. Um, maybe some more what's on my bookshelves and the farm videos. Even though the farm videos don't get a ton of views, the people who watch them watch them regularly and ask for them and say don't stop. So I won't stop. I don't know what's going to happen come winter time. It'll be a little harder, but I won't stop. I'm still putting them out there. I had a visitor today. That's going to make it into a video at some point. The bunnies are growing like weeds. They'll keep popping up in the videos, so I'll keep doing them. And I've just got to come up with some other things that don't involve me spending money all the time. <laughs> oh, goodness. Anyhow, um... I don't know if I have much more to say on that topic um, or any other topic right now. I think I have to go check my soup. Probably let my dogs out because they've already had their dinner. And I'm hungry. This new schedule I'm on with a later start and a later release time, I don't really like because I don't get home until after 5 o'clock usually. And I don't like that. Anyhow, I'm going to get off here. I'm going to finish putting these last few drills in a container, check my soup, throw the noodles in because it's chicken noodle soup, call my husband up, have some soup, and then maybe be able to sit here and start this tonight. It's kind of a big one too, and I just, uh, how big is it? I got it right here. It's a 40 by 50. Yeah, it's a 40 by 50, so that's going to take me some time. I'm not that fast at them. It'll take some time to do a 40 by 50, but... Anyhow, just got to power through it and get it done. His birthday's coming up. I got to have it done. So, anyhow, I'm going to go now. And uh, I hope you guys have a good night. I hope I get this out there on Wednesday. I'm going to try to do that right now. Um, and then, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for the support you give me, the likes, the subscribes. The little gifts I've gotten, I just, everything is great. I just, you know, I love this. If I could quit my job and just do this all the time, it's what I would do. So until next time, guys, have a great day. Be happy and stress-free. See ya.